What's up, class, and welcome to another episode of the No Mod Shop class on the School Zone. So we are on to lesson 85, and here is something you may not know. Not a single week has gone by since I started these building tutorials where I haven't gotten at least one comment on one of the videos where someone thinks I secretly use mods, right? Sometimes the comments even call me like a liar, a cheat, a clickbaiter, or worse. Now, this isn't a rant or anything. I'm actually flattered by those comments comments because it means people are so impressed by what they're seeing that they assume I had to have used mods. Now there's nothing wrong with mods if you use them and I've said that before. I just don't happen to use them myself for a variety of reasons and clearly from comments like those I'm doing okay without them right? So what I usually do is respond to those comments by saying something like, no, I don't use mods, but tell me where in the video you think I use mods and I'll explain how it was done. So about 70% of the time, I never hear back from the poster. About 20% of the time, the poster will go back and delete their own comment. Maybe because, you know, either they figured it out on their own or they were embarrassed or they were just surprised that I replied back with kindness, you know? But about 10% of the time, the poster will reply back and actually ask me how something was done. Now, sometimes the explanation is simple and I can leave a quick comment, like using the rug glitch, or you need to get a certain DLC, or refer them to another video I already made that has the answer. But sometimes I haven't made a video about it and the explanation is too long for a comment, and would actually make a good lesson. And that's the case with someone who commented recently on my Covenant build video about the glass railings that you see here. So I told him to hang tight and I'd make a tutorial. Sometimes people also email me privately and ask how something is done and that also requires a bit of a lengthy explanation. And that's where today's bonus tip comes in. So stick around to the end of the video if you want to check out that bonus tip. Before we get to all that though, let's take a quick peek at this month's Wall of Fame. As usual, I feature the names of my amazing Patreon supporters on this here Wall of Fame. And here is the student council this month. Thank you guys so much for your generosity and belief in the channel. I'll leave a link in the description below in the iCard above if anyone else wants to support the school zone. There are some fantastic perks in addition to seeing your name on the Wall of Fame. And if you don't want to leave YouTube and take the time to set up a Patreon account, there's also a join button down below. And it even has some perks that Patreon doesn't have. Or you could do both. <laughs> Helping me helps the channel because I reinvest everything to keep it going. And we're getting close to the next goal. So thanks for any support you want to show. All right, let's head over to Sanctuary where I can show you how this works. Okay, so here we are at my sanctuary build, my ongoing sanctuary build. Hopefully one of these days I can finish it up and give you a tour, but uh, I got so many other builds I'm working on. But uh, anyway, for today's lesson, what I'm going to do is build the glass railing on this uh, beginnings of a nightclub little building that I've started here. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to add the glass railing to this balcony here. And uh, I'll just show you, it's not really anything yet at all, pretty much. <laughs> I just built a little stage here, um, you know, where the lounge singer could stand. And to get these um, cement blocks in there, all I had to do was uh, just not build these back walls just yet. And then use the concrete instead of the uh, warehouse floors. And then just raise them up to where I wanted them. And then uh, I was able to still snap those back walls back in. So I didn't do any trickery other than just a little finagling there. But um, it gives just about the right amount of, of stage height to separate uh, the singer and the band from the crowd. <laughs> it'll be a small crowd, but, you know, it'll be something. And then over here, I was starting to build a gym. Uh, you may have seen in some of my previous videos. But um, I, I decided to scrap it because it, it just didn't go with the rest of the sanctuary. And uh, while we're at it, I might as well just show you a quick uh, update on my little terrace bar restaurant here. You've seen this in past videos, but I've, I've added a roof now and some tables and some lights and stuff. So they can eat their lunch or have their drinks while looking down on the water flowing below them. You gotta love it. Okay, uh, what's up, bud? I'll come back for a drink after this video. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm probably going to have to sleep at some point in the middle of this tutorial, so you'll have to forgive me, but we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so what I'm going to do is go into Workshop, 
and then head over to structures and then head over to the warehouse section. In the warehouse section walls at the end here or near the end, we have some glass half walls. Okay. So we got broken kind, but the first one, fortunately, is actually intact, which is one of the rare things that they do for you here. You know, all the rest of these have broken stuff in them. Well, I guess that one's pretty intact, but look at the bottom part. It's all rusted and you know, they just don't give you a lot of intact materials, so this is pretty cool. Now, uh, let me set this one down and just show you something real quick. This one has a little bit of depth to it, and as you can see, the glass sort of lingers closer to one edge than it does the other, all right? And to avoid some gaps in the railing we're going to build, we're actually going to turn this around and have side that's closer to the edge with the glass on the inside all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set one of these here now you can build this railing as wide as you want mine happens to be four squares width you can have your balcony one width or you can have it you know it doesn't even have to be a balcony you know but um i'm just i just happen to be building four here so in a row. So once you get one in, you can snap the rest and they'll all be aligned in the right direction. Okay. And then in order to get the height to pillar glitch this up to the balcony there, we're going to need something that's a little bit taller than even this tall post right here. So what I usually like to use in cases like that is this scaffolding piece that's easy to see through, but is actually taller than uh, the posts, okay? See this thing right here? All right, and the reason that this works so well is because like the posts and like the stairs, I can't use stairs here either because they're also not tall enough. Even the tallest stairs that I have to select from in the scaffolding isn't tall enough. But um, the stairs, the posts, and the scaffolding can all sink into the ground. And that's why they can be used as pillars in the pillar glitch. All right. So I'm going to set that right there. I'll move it over a little bit more. And then what I like to do is see how far away I can get from it while still selecting the mass that I want to pillar glitch into place. Okay. I don't think that's going to be close enough. All right. So I'm holding that select button down. Wasn't close enough. So I'll move it a little closer. Still not close enough. There we go. Okay. So, uh, oh, and one other thing. This is probably a good place to do a quick save. Let me get out of um, a quick save. Because uh, once you get this into place, if it's not aligned properly, you'll have to deconstruct it and replace it and uh, start all over again. So instead of going through all that, I can just load this quick save and try again because if you try to uh select it again once it's in place it's gonna select this whole you know building all right so let me just grab a quick nap <laughs> until morning and then uh we'll continue on it should just take a couple of seconds for you guys all right hang tight we are back and i just hit that clear weather shell mortar so we should have some sunny skies for at least five minutes <laughs> okay so let's see if I can get this on the first try, all right? It may take a little finagling, but um, hopefully it'll work. So I've selected this whole arrangement here. And what I'm going to do is kind of step back so I can see the whole thing, align it right, and then push it forward. And if you don't know how to do that, I covered that in the very first tutorial in the No Mod Chop class. Links below. Okay. So you see now I've got it pushed all the way into the balcony floor there. So what I'm going to do is, you see that middle line there? I'm going to raise this up so that middle line is just touching, you know, the bottom of the balcony floor, I should say. And then I'm going to line this up just right. And then from here, if all goes well, I should be able to step back a little bit and get this to where, yep, it turns blue or whatever your HUD color is. Okay, now just to make sure that there's no gaps, I'm just going to push it back in a little bit. Step back. You got to be really sensitive with the controller there. Okay, I'm not going to necessarily keep this if it's unaligned, but you guys get the idea. I'm going to go ahead and pop it into place and see how well we did. Oh, I think I did a pretty good job there, actually. 
Okay, so I'm gonna store this, exit, and let's head up and see how well it turned out. All right, perfect. Actually, that's a really good job. I think I'll probably keep this. Okay, so that is how you get a glass railing. And let me just show you, uh, railings are usually about waist height. If I didn't glitch it down into place like that, it would be about six feet to seven feet high and it would no longer be a railing. It would be basically a glass wall. So that is how you create the glass railings. Now for those who are like, oh, but you've got this glass part sticking down. Well, yeah, you do, but it doesn't look bad at all, you know? And uh, what I did in my covenant build was I added some string lights right behind these glass panels so that the light would reflect through and it looked really cool. And that is exactly what I'm gonna do with this one. In fact, I'll just go ahead and show you one to get started here. Go into build mode. And we could also put uh, cycling lights too. Some colored ones that are Wi-Fi glitched would look really nice. Okay, so these are the ones I'm talking about here. So we can just, here, let me pull it forward. And that's about what I did, something to that effect. All right, and uh, I could put a whole bunch of more in there, you know, but I'm just I'm just showing you guys that it's going to look really cool. And also it gives a little bit of um, reflection onto the building. That's nice. And this um, balcony also gives some shading so that I can put some neon signs here or some neon lettering. And uh, it's still going to be, you know, contrasted well and visible during daylight hours. Okay, that is how you build the glass railing. And if you've stuck out the video so far, uh, you get to see the bonus tip now. So another viewer sent me a private email and asked me how I would go about creating a microphone for like a stage, you know, like a um, band or a poetry readings or whatever, you know. And um, I thought about it and I was like, all right, let me add it as a bonus tip to one of my videos because there's not really anything in the vanilla assets that are going to look good. And, you know, there are microphones and microphone stands in the game. Like there's one in Good Neighbor, for example, that I can come up with off the top of my head where the uh, lady in the red dress, you know, the lounge singer, I forget her name. But, um, you know, they could have so easily added that little asset to the... Uh, build menu, but they didn't. I don't know if it's in Creation Club or not, but I'm going to show you how to make something somewhat similar to it, or at least the best that you can do using the vanilla assets, okay? Or, you know, this is my interpretation of it, all right? So what we're going to do is um, we're going to grab this mannequin over here. So come on, go into build mode. Okay, so I'm going to grab this mannequin and we're going to head over here. And this way I can use the mannequin as sort of a, a height guide, <laughs> so to speak. Okay, so I looked through the different things and um, there's some items in the miscellaneous section that look interesting. Those are the, uh, the powered speakers. So, oh my, it looks like I don't have enough copper. Okay, that's unfortunate. <laughs> okay, let me go and make a quick <laughs> supply run and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, so let's try this again. So now that we have copper, what I'm gonna do is just grab one of these powered speakers. Um, it doesn't matter which one because uh, we're not gonna hook it up actually. It's just gonna be used as sort of a, um, a base for the microphone. And you've got different colors you can choose from if you want orange or yellow, green, blue, aqua, silver, um, yellow, or orange. So I'm just gonna pick uh, silver because I think um, you know it's gonna go well with the other item. Actually, yellow might be good too. Yeah, let me pick yellow and I'll show you why. All right, so we've got this um, powered speaker now. By itself is not gonna work really well because first of all, it's too low, as you can see, and um, also it doesn't really look like a microphone. But if we spin it around, it's getting close. This could be like the speaker where the music <laughs> from the um, microphone or the voice comes out. All right. So uh, what I'm going to do is set that right there. I'm going to put it on a rug. Okay. I'm going to grab this and just pop it onto the rug. 
And then the other item that I thought was interesting that could make for a good actual receiving end of the microphone. Can't remember the name of that part. But um, if you have Far Harbor installed, then you have these bottle lanterns. One of them right here actually has a little circular loop at the top that might actually make for a pretty cool microphone. And once again, this is all improv here. So um, I'm going to set this on a natural element in your settlement uh, that isn't built and doesn't have anything attached to it that could come with it. And that way I could pillar glitch it off of this. Um, you have to set it up against uh, a ceiling of some sort in order for it to stick. But once it's there, it can be uh, pillar glitched off of that and into place, even hanging in midair. All right, so I'm going to head over to the warehouse section, get one of these posts, just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to group select. All right, and if I just left it right here, it'd be just suspended in midair. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over here and I'm going to place it. Now, the placement of it in this case only matters as far as the height is concerned. All right. As far as its lateral placement, we can move the rug into place once it's uh, once the lantern is is in the right position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to this mannequin and just get an idea of where it should be, like where the um, person's mouth is in, re in relation to its height. And uh, I'm going to go just a fraction higher because when the rug sinks down, then um, we want to adjust for that. So that seems about the right height. So I'm going to head back over here and then just uh, pop it into place. Okay, now I can take this post and, well, actually, I can just store the post. And then what we can do from here is we can move the rug and get it to where it looks like that... Um, conduit part of the speaker you know what let me straighten this thing out a little bit here there we go okay so it's going to look like the uh the conduit is sort of sitting in the bottle all right let's see if that works okay now i can line it up laterally here little fine-tune adjustments there pretty close now i can move it forward a little bit Okay, pretty cool. I think that might actually work. And then from here, what I can do is I can group select the whole thing using the rug. All right, so just hold down the select button. And then we can head over, place it on the stage, and see how it looks once the mannequin is in place. All right, so actually this bonus tip turned out to be longer than the original tip. Okay, so I'm going to place it just about right there. Okay, now I can uh, store the rug. It's going to drop down just a fraction there. And then I can go grab this mannequin, which I can also dress up to be the singer, you know, with like a dress and a hat or whatever, just to, you know, <laughs> look like there's an actual singer. Too bad we can't assign settlers to do like, you know, entertainment tasks. But um, yeah, there we go. And that looks like just about the right height. Yep, perfect. Okay, so that is my interpretation of a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> that can be used, um, you know, on a stage. It's the best I can come up with uh, using the vanilla assets. But it's pretty cool because um, at nighttime, this lantern is still going to glow. So it's going to make it look like, um, you know, that's where the yellow is shining off of. Uh, there's a little light behind it, behind this speaker that's uh, illuminating the singer. You know, it's just going to generally give it a, a cozy vibe for a lounge singer in a little nightclub of yours. So let me know if you guys think that's creative or if you can come up with anything better, you know, be sure to leave it down in the comments below. Hope this bonus tip and the main tip were useful to you guys. And thanks again to the Student Council for your support on Patreon. And with that join button down below, you know, we recently reached 140,000 subs and that gives me hope that 150K is not too far off. So subscribe if you haven't already and spread the word about the channel. You know, YouTube's algorithm is still rewarding clickbait channels, even in 2021. And since I don't do that stuff, the only way we grows through word of mouth. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Happy building and class dismissed.